hello everyone as part of adam programming in clinical as we are seeing some of the variables which are derived in adsl in this video we will see how to derive different treatment related variables in a parallel group study so in a parallel group study a subject would be assigned to one of the possible treatments in the entire study and the subject will continue to receive that treatment only for the entire period of study so here in this video we will see how to derive trt stt which is date of first exposure to treatment and trt edt which is date of last exposure to treatment and then trt 01p which is planned treatment for period 1 and then trt 01a which is actual treatment for period 01 so in a parallel group study we assume that as per adam standard there is only one period so we are creating this variables which have this number 01 so the entire code which is used for uh, as part of this video and the input data can be obtained on the website www.mychc.in so now let us see how to derive trt stt let us see the derivation algorithm provided it says using ex data set get trt sdt as the numeric of date part of ex sddtc of the earliest record of a subject where ex cat is equal to treatment period and ex dose is greater than 0 so we are being asked to use sdt and ex data set and we are being asked to use the rows which have this filter condition and use the value from ex sddtc but only extract the date part of it and then convert it into numeric format and then now let us take a look at the or oh, before do that let's go ahead and manually find the trt sdt variable for the available data so in this example we have three subjects data in demographic data set along with that we also have along with u sub jd we have arm and actual arm variables being given so for trt sdt we are being asked to use exposure data set let us go to exposure and then try to identify the treatment start date so let us filter for subject 100 first 1002 first and then we were asked to filter for treatment period so let us filter for treatment period so we were asked to use the earliest date from ex sdt dtc and if time component is present we were asked to extract that as well so here we have 7th december and 4th march and so the earliest date is 7th december 2011 so this would become the treatment start date so let us pull that information and put it in trt sdt for first subject so let us do that for subject 1003 as well let us remove all the filters so let us manually see it for subject 1003 there are two records the first record is with run in period and the second record is with treatment period so this record has to be used as there exists only one record with treatment period the existing date would be the earliest date in exsdtc so 4th october 2011 is the treatment start date for 1003 so why do we not have data for subject 1001 so if we take a look at the dm data set so the subject is a screen failure which means the subject would never be dosed so we do not have any data for that subject in exposure now let us come back to trt edt and see how it is being asked to be populated so using ex data set get trt edt as the numeric of date part of ex endtc of the latest record of a subject where ex cat is equal to treatment period and ex dose is greater than 0 so now let us come to the data and then manually try to identify so we have two records for subject 1002 with treatment period so out of which we are being asked to check for the latest ex cn dtc so we have 1st march 2012 and 15th march 2012 so of these two dates 15th march 2012 is the latest date so this will become our treatment end date for subject 1002 so we'll be populating it with that 
So let us take a look at subject 1003. So as we have seen in TRT SGT, there was only one record for sub this subject with treatment period. So and the date in EX ENDTC is 4th October 2011. So this becomes the latest date as well. And so hence the treatment end date for this subject. So let us populate it with this TRT ENDT here. Now let us take a look at the other variables. So it's the next variable is TRT01P. It says plan treatment for period one using DM data set get TRT01P as the value present in DM dot arm variable. So we are being you asked to use the value from arm variable of SDTM data set for TRT01P which is a copy of DM dot arm variable. So we have some additional instructions here which says TRT01P will not be populated for subjects who are screen failure which is DM dot arm is equal to screen failure or who have not been assigned with any treatment yet that is DM dot arm is equal to not assigned. So let us go ahead and then populate TRT01P manually. So let us take a look at the values. So for the first subject, it is screen failure, but as for the, as per the specification, we are not supposed to populate TRT01P for the subjects who are screen failures or for the subjects who are, who has the value of not assigned in ARM. So TRT01P can be populated only for the subjects 1002 and 1003 because for the first subject, it is screen failure. So it shouldn't be used so let us populate it here. So we have populated our TRT01P. Now let us take a look at the derivation algorithm provided for TRT018. So it says using DM dataset get TRT01A as the value present in DM dot act term, which is actual arm variable. So again, so this must have been TRT01A. TRT01A will not be populated for the subjects who are screen failures, which is DM dot actual arm is equal to screen failure or subjects who have not been assigned with any treatment, but DM dot actual arm is equal to not assigned. So let us come back to the data and then go to the demographic data set and then see. For the first subject, actual arm is also screen failure. So we will not be populating TRT01A for this subject as well. So we can just use this copy values for 1002 and 1003 and populate it our TRT01A variable. So this is how some of the variables in uh, treatment related variables can be populated in a parallel arm study. So now let us see how to programmatically derive this. So we have seen in the earlier videos how to derive uh, treatment start date and end treatment end dates when we were looking at the key date variables in Adam ADSL data set. So here we are subsetting the records. So for treatment start date, what we are doing is using exposure data set. We are filtering for the records which has EX cat is equal to treatment period. And there was also an additional condition which said EX dose is greater than zero. So we can add that as well. And then we are sorting the records based on subject ID and EXSTDTC. So we have discussed earlier that the dates in I, uh, ISO 8601 format, even though they are in character format, can be used to sort the data chronologically, which is the earliest dates will get sorted first and then the latest, date, latest dates. So even if we use character dates for sorting, that, that result that gives us the required result of like lowest value on top and highest value at the end. So and then we are using that subset data set and we are filtering the first record for subject because as we have sorted EXSTDTC in ascending fashion, the lowest date for that subject would appear on the first record of that subject. So we are filtering that record here. And after that we are checking for the presence of non-missing date and then extracting the date component using sub strn function and then converting it into numeric format and then applying a format of yymmdd10 dot for trt sgt variable. So you might have seen in some of the earlier videos that we might have used date name format that again depends on the sponsor or the client whom we are working for. But we can 
use whatever format we are being asked to use and similarly we are filtering for trt edt here also we can use ex toast filter condition so let us take a look at the input data so do we have ex toast variable here in this though the specification mentioned but the data doesn't have ex toast variable so for time being in the code let us remove that ex toast filter condition so if we had ex toast variable also given in this sample data so we could have applied that filter so see here we are sorting the data based on subject and exe and dtc so when we sort the data in ascending fashion the latest date would appear on the last record for each subject so we are employing a flash dot use subject to filter that data and then after that like how we have extracted the date component and then converted it to numeric for exst dtc we are doing that for exe and dtc as well and then assigning that value to trt edt and then using a format of yymmdd 10 dot for trt edt so here also and while deriving trt sdt as we do not need any other variables we were keeping only the subject identifier and the trt sdt variable which is derived similarly here also we are keeping only the required variables after that we are merging our trt sdt and trt edt data sets to the demographics data set which is the base data set for adsl data set based on the values present in use of JD variable and we are keeping all the records for the subjects who are coming from the DM data set which is our base data set and then what we are doing here is we are creating our TRT01P and TRT01A so if arm not is equal to screen failure then TRT01P is equal to arm as per the specification we were supposed to copy over the values from arm variable to trt01p for all the subjects whose arm value is not is equal to screen failure so we are doing that here and then similarly for trt01a for all the subjects whose arm actual arm value is not is equal to screen failure we are populating trt01a with the value from actual arm so let us execute this code and take a look at the final adsl data set and see if our values are matching with the ones which we have manually identified so if we see trt sdt and trt edt so 7th december and 4th october trt sdt was 7th december 2011 and 4th october 2011 so this is correctly identified and now let us take a look at trt edt so which is 15th march 2012 and 4th october 2011 15th march and 4th october so 15th march 2012 and 4th october 2011 these are also correctly populated so let us now check trt01p and trt01a so it is sita 100 sita 100 mg sita 100 mg csg 50 mg and placebo so let us see if those values are correct so trt 01p sita gliptin 100 mg and placebo sita gliptin 100 mg and placebo chg 50 mg and placebo chg 50 mg and placebo so these are populated correctly so this is how we can derive some of the commonly used treatment related variables which are your planned and actual arm related variables and your treatment start date and end date variables